So for our first equation, we're going to look at uh, the formula for gravitational force between objects, and we're going to equate that to the centripetal acceleration. So an example of this is if we are orbiting an object, we've got, say, the Earth, and I am whizzing around the outside, we know from the earlier topic that the thing contributing to this is the acceleration, the centripetal acceleration, just like in anything that's spinning on a, uh, a string or a ride or anything like that. We know that that centripetal acceleration points towards the middle. But in terms of a planet, there is no tension of a string or cable or anything attaching this. So what is actually providing the centripetal acceleration? It's equal to the gravitational force between two objects. So if this is an orbiting planet or a satellite or whatever, the force of gravity on it is, is the thing that's providing that centripetal acceleration. This is important when we look at this. So if I pull up my equations, this is the force between two objects. Remember, this is the, the mass of the smaller thing, the mass of the large thing, the radius, the distance it is from it, and the gravitational constant. So this is the force of gravity between two objects. But that force is equal to the centripetal acceleration because that's the thing that's pulling it inwards. So if I just rearrange these two combined, I get this formula. I get that the gravitational constant times the mass of the small planet or object, mass of the big planet, the radius it is divided by radius squared mass, and that equals velocity squared. I can clean up a lot of these things. Mass cancels out, one of the radii cancels out, and I can take the square root of it. But I'm going to firstly end up with this. I end up with big G, big M divided by radius, and that's my velocity squared. So therefore, I can just take the square root of this and I get that the velocity of a satellite, an object circling a planet, is just equal to the gravitational constant, the mass of the big planet, and the radius that it's circling. Because really, the small mass is insignificant. It cancels out mathematically, but if you're talking about a satellite circling the Earth, the mass of the satellite is so tiny compared to the mass of the Earth that it makes zero impact. So you get a first derivation.